Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase and it is the top 5 mods of the week episode 85 and I've got 5 really awesome mods to share with you this week. Before I start the top 5 countdown, I've got a quick note for some people asking a bunch of questions why I'm not featuring a bunch of the new mesh import mods like Plo Koon or the Damage Darth Vader for example. Those are still a work in progress and have not been released, so I can't showcase them because I don't have them and they're not out, but when they are released I will be showcasing them. But let's just get straight into the top 5 countdown with 5th place this week and we have the No Holograms Remastered mod from Naviation. The original No Holograms mod is still by far the most downloaded Battlefront 2 mod but has not been updated since April so it does not have support for Felucia. It's a bit buggy and things like that so Naviation has gone and try to recreate it without the background blur. Hopefully that can be added in a new update because that would be so cool. It's one of my favourite parts of that mod. But it looks decent. It's not perfect. The lighting is a bit off, but it's a decent substitute for the original No Holograms mod. And I know you guys who play with mods would love this, so here you go. In fourth place this week, I've got a mod from Cirami, and this is the Luke Skywalker best bin outfit and this is the best Luke appearance I think there has been it actually uses outfits from the the Vardos civilians from the campaign and it's just really really cool it looks quite realistic it's missing a few things here and there it's not 100% accurate to what we see in Empire Strikes Back but nevertheless it's a really good recreation using the new abilities of modding and hopefully one day we'll be getting a skin like this from DICE. And in third place this week, I've got the Darth Revan Knights of the Old Republic mod from Zobadian 6. This replaces Anakin with a really good interpretation of Darth Revan using the assets of Battlefront 2. It gives him a purple lightsaber, it changes a bunch of his textures and gives him some stuff to do with Kylo. Also has custom star cards, which I really appreciate. All really high quality pictures of Darth Revan. Unlike in some other mods for Darth Revan where they've had stretched images or low quality pictures, this is a really good one. It also has a custom hero portrait, so you can see Darth Revan in the collection or the respawn menu if you want. Various parts of the mods like the portraits and the star cards are optional files, so you don't have to use them if you don't want to. It's just there to use if you want to do that, which is a really nice bit of freedom that you have. Now, the runner-up for this Top 5 Mods of the Week episode is one people have been asking for since the beginning of Battlefront 2 modding. A working progress Darth Maul Robot Legs mod is here from Dano, and it's not perfect, but it's the best option we have right now. Seriously, it's decent. It uses the BX Commando Droid's legs as Darth Maul's robot legs. So it's a little bit funny, and it replaces the Commando Droid with a messed up version of Bosk. So if you're wanting to use the Commando Droids, you cannot use this mod, but it's not bad other than the clipping issues and it's the closest thing we could probably be getting for quite some time. It's just the fact that someone has made a breakthrough here and actually done something to an extent where it's somewhat viable and it's actually decent. So if you're a fan of this skin and you've been wanting DICE to make it, well this mod does it to an extent. It's not entirely accurate, but it's the best we can have for now and please DICE, Give us this mod or at least a solo version of it from that film because we really want Darth Maul skins. And the winner of this top 5 Mods of the Week episode is the Delta 7 Jedi Starfighters mod from Clone Trooper 163. This uses the new technology of mesh importing for Star Wars Battlefront 2 modding and really goes to town with incredible detail. So there's a bunch of different variants in this mod. You have different options to choose from. You have Obi-Wan Starfighter we see in Attack of the Clones. I know a lot of people really want to see this in the game, but I'm just so glad we've actually got this mesh import working so we can see the Delta 7 in its glory in Battlefront 2. It just looks so awesome, and I would love to see more Jedi Starfighters using this model. And we also get a Plo Koon marking version, which looks awesome. Unfortunately, it's quite low poly, and it doesn't look as good as the others, but it's 
decent to an extent. We also have a yellow, green, and blue version of the Delta 7 included if you want that look. So the yellow one is a bit more like Anakin's from the Clone Wars TV show. It replaces Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, so you won't be able to use that whilst you use one of these mods. And it also removes all of Yoda's voice lines, so you won't have any voice lines when using this Starfighter. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below which mods you thought were the best. That be sure to let me know down in the comment section below or vote in the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen which mods were your favourites this week. Now let's take a look at last week's results. The poll actually gave me a surprise. The Minecraft mods took 47%. It was up to like... I think about 80 for majority of the week, but it has changed. The Purge Trooper took 30%, the Trooper Pack took 15%, the Rainy Naboo took 4%, and the 187th Legion took 1%. We'll see how this week's polling results turns out next week. Make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss the next Top 5 Mods of the Week episode. Turn those notifications on and drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you do want to support the channel and get Top 5 Mods of the Week early, consider becoming a channel member. And I just want to give a special shout out to my special commander clone troopers, Mhmdot, Lettuce, and Bendark for continuing their support as a clone commander. Now, if you missed any of the two videos on screen right now, please go check them out, and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.